Greg Pickle, day two of the Big Ten Media Days. It's Mercifully, over. it's, it's over. coming to a close. <laughs> we thought it would be a pretty slow day on the Penn State front, but yet, once again, James Franklin, negative recruiting, it's and back. now it's it's now it's enveloped. It's back. Uh, Urban Meyer in Ohio State, Mark D'Antonio, Michigan State, Jim Harbaugh in Michigan, and also Brian Kelly in Notre Dame. What's your take on whether or not those four schools are negatively recruiting against I, I Penn think State. it depends how you define negative recruiting. You know, the most recent example you're going to find is Michigan State's pursuit of Miles Sanders in the class of 2016. Everyone knows that they made a late push for him. And it depends on your definition of negative. If you're Mark D'Antonio and you tell Miles Sanders, you know, we're doing this, that, and the other thing, we're going deep into the postseason, and you're committed to Penn State who can't win coming down the stretch and is playing Georgia in the tax layer bowl, you know, that's not, it might be seen as negative because it's pointing out the negatives of Penn State's program, but it's just a fact as well. So I think it depends how you interpret negative, but no question, I think to an extent, every school negative recruits. Penn State's not one of the schools that doesn't negative recruit. Everyone that says they don't negative recruit is lying. Everyone does to some degree. You know, I think the biggest thing we took away from the day is that schools are still using the Jerry Sandusky scandal against Penn State, right or wrong, fair or not, they're doing it. And Penn State continues to have to find a way to work around that. As the Penn Lives recruiting guy, let me ask you this. Yeah. Since James Franklin threw negative recruiting out there, do you think he uses negative recruiting to his advantage when recruiting kids that other kids, the other schools are pursuing? Yeah, I mean, again, it depends how you define negative and what all that entails. But sure, like I said, I think everyone does it. You know, there was a tweet from a Temple coach when they got Dale and Darian, the 2017 wide receiver now on campus, that, you know, said something to the effect that it's a shame a school like Penn State has to resort to negative recruiting to get a kid that was committed to us. And he quickly deleted it. You know, they didn't want to ruffle any feathers, Matt Rowe and whatnot, but you know, it's it's always out there. There's always claims of every time a kid flips somewhere, negative recruiting is the first thing that's suspected in a lot of cases. So I think Penn State probably uses it to some degree, every school does to some degree. Can't wait to talk to James Franklin at Penn State Media I'm sure Day. he can't wait to talk to Next about week either. in State College. Uh, Bob Founders, he's Greg Pickle, and that's it from Big Ten Media Days.